Plastic comes in various sizes, types, colors, and with different material characteristics. The wide varieties of plastics makes it an essential material for industries interested in manufacturing both prototypes and end-use parts for use. Thermoforming is a plastic molding technique that results in a variety of highly usable products. A plastic sheet is heated to a pliable forming temperature in an oven. It is stretched and formed in a mold and then cooled to a finished shape. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel. In this video, we will discuss the types of thermoforming process, examples of materials used in plastic thermoforming, and the application of thermoforming. Do well to watch till the end for better understanding, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and turn on notification icon for more content. What is thermoforming? Thermoforming is a plastic manufacturing process that involves heating a plastic sheet to a pliable forming temperature, then use pressure or force of a vacuum to form or stretch to a specific shape in a mold. The shaped plastic is then cooled down and trimmed to create a usable product. The process is carried out using a thermoforming machine to heat and stretch the pliable thermoplastic sheet over the mold. Modern thermoforming machines are generally equipped to handle the trimming and cutting process. While for more conventional machines, trimming and cutting may be done externally. Thermoforming is grouped into two categories, depending on the sheet thickness of the formed part. They are 1. Thin gauge thermoforming, with a starting material thickness of 0.005 to 0.060 inch. 2. Heavy gauge thermoforming, having a sheet thickness greater than 0.060 inch. Steps in thermoforming. The thermoforming process involves three basic steps. 1. Heating the plastic sheet to a pliable temperature. 2. Forming the plastic sheet to a specific shape in a mold. 3. Trimming and finishing it into usable product. Regardless of the simplicity of thermoforming, each step of the process has to be completed with precision and accuracy in order to produce quality products. Any error can lead to misshapen, defects, and useless sheet of plastics. The methods by which the forming steps is accomplished can be classified into three basic types. 1. Vacuum thermoforming. 2. Pressure thermoforming. 3. Mechanical thermoforming. Vacuum thermoforming. The first method was vacuum thermoforming, called vacuum forming when it was developed in the 1950s. Vacuum forming uses heat and pressure to shape plastic sheets. First, a flat plastic sheet is softened by heating and placed over a concave mold cavity, where a vacuum draws the sheet into the cavity and manipulates it into the desired shape. The plastic hardens inside the cold mold surface. The material is detached and subsequently trimmed from the web. The final result is a precise shape. Vacuum forming is the simplest of all thermoforming methods. However, part thickness distribution is difficult to control. Vacuum pressure should be uniform and sufficient throughout the mold. Webs are also a risk in vacuum forming. Webs can form from overheating, oversized molds, or parts of the molds being too close together. However, careful temperature monitoring and attention to details easily prevent this issue. 2. Pressure forming. Similar to the vacuum forming method, air pressure is utilized together with the vacuum applied under the cavity to push the plastic sheet. This is called pressure forming or blow forming. Its advantage over vacuum forming is that higher pressure can be developed. The process sequence is similar to vacuum thermoforming, the difference being that the sheet is pressurized from above into the mold cavity. Vent holes are provided in the mold to exhaust the trapped air. Pressure forming is used when higher levels of details are required from the thermoforming process. The added pressure creates greater details on the finished products that is not easily created by vacuum forming, making this method suitable for product with complex design. Mechanical thermoforming. The third method called mechanical thermoforming uses negative and positive molds that are brought together to press the heated plastic sheet, forcing it to assume their shape. Its advantages are better dimensional control and the opportunity for surface detailing on both sides of the part. The disadvantage is that two mold halves are needed, which makes it mold more expensive compared to pressure and vacuum thermoforming. 
Material used in thermoforming. Thermoforming is a secondary shaping process. The primary process being that which produces the sheet or film. Only thermoplastic can be thermoformed. Since extruded sheets of thermosetting or elastomeric polymers have been cross-linked and cannot be softened by reheating. Thermoplastic are a broad class of polymers that can be heated to a certain elevated temperature and recasted reversibly without altering the chemical properties and associated phase change. It can survive multiple cycles of heating and cooling. When selecting a thermoplastic material for thermoforming, it's essential to consider the plastic sheet physical properties and suggested applications. The following are the common thermoforming plastics. 1. Polystyrene. 2. Cellulose acetate. 3. Acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. 4. Polyvinyl chloride. 5. Polymethyl metaacrylate. 6. Polyethylene terephthalate. 7. High density polyethylene. 8. Low density polyethylene. 9. Polypropylene. 10. Polycarbonate, etc. Applications of thermoforming. Some common applications of thermoforming in various industries include automotive industry, to produce interior and exterior paneling, seating parts, dashboard assemblies, etc. Aerospace industry, to produce overhead luggage bins, window shields, seating parts, interior paneling, etc. In medical equipment, e.g. hospital bed components, sterile packaging, bins and trays, imaging enclosure, etc. In building and construction, e.g. equipment enclosures, tool cases, machinery covers. To produce recreational equipment, electronic packaging and enclosures, bins and containers, etc.